When you play music, nearly every part of your brain is being engaged. You need motor skills, you need auditory skills, you're probably looking at music. When you ask me what's going on in my brain when, <laughs> when I'm playing music, I'm going on some sort of emotional journey. So I find the brain the most incredible object in the universe. It was the only thing that really interested me from an early age. It's essentially a, um, a bottomless well of things that you would want to investigate. You have the problem that you can't see into it without having some method. So optogenetics is a revolution. All of a sudden you can use a combination of optogenetics and light microscopes to ask questions about what does this neuron do? What happens if these neurons don't participate? And we're doing all sorts of experiments on this level. We are one of the lucky laboratories being part of the Charité Medical University that can get access to the tissue that otherwise might be thrown away. We then have to prepare it for um, work under a microscope, which essentially means uh, cutting the, the brain into very thin slices, about a third of a millimetre thick, and they get taken from the incubator one at a time to the microscope. I still, at, at the age of 53, get a tremendous thrill from watching brain activity in general. From the very first day that I saw a neuron fire till now, I get the same kind of butterflies in, my, in the pit of my stomach to, to watch the brain actually, actually doing what it does. The goal for the brain is to link the data that's arriving at your sensory organs with the experiences that you've had in the past. We think we have now a, a way to explain not just how the brain does this, but how the, the individual neurons of the brain contribute to this. The, the whole point of discovery is that you challenge yourself to find out something that nobody knows anything about till now. Um, and that comes with, with daily frustration. Uh, I think failure is a really interesting aspect of science. You thought it was one way, but you were wrong. Then this is the most exciting thing that can happen to a scientist. Being asked to come to Berlin as, uh, as part of NeuroCure was really exciting. I really wanted to be part of it. I think NeuroCure is defined by the fact that everybody involved is really enthusiastic for what it represents. We're programmed to find new things about the world exciting, because if we don't find them exciting, we don't remember them. It's, it's this marriage of your expectations with, 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 your, with your surprises. And if the surprises make sense, then it's creative. I like to think that if you can do both science and, and, and music, the creative process becomes in itself a, a, a something to study and, and to enjoy for itself.